Hi everybody. I really hope y'all are doing well and feeling blessed. Um, I wanted to come on here and make this video to warn of the dangers of new age. Um, my tripod isn't trying to be very nice to me. Um, there we go. Um, I wanted to talk about time. I opened a bad door and I did shut it, but my mom and I actually had um, a similar vision when I, um, you know, came out of that and I wasn't saved yet, but her prayers protected me and, you know, she kind of prophesied that day or like in a way, um, you know, she said what Jesus called me and I just felt so much love. But at the same time, I felt scared because I was... I was being assailed because of the doors I opened, um, if that makes sense. And yeah, that was no good that I opened any of those doors to, you know, we're only supposed to serve Christ. And yeah, but I also wanted to share though, that this is um, when I played with, you know, one of them demonic boards. I don't know what I'm talking about. I don't know really want to say it out loud to be honest. Um, I was like 13 or 14 at the time. Um, that's when I used to dabble, which I don't, you know, support that anymore. And I'm glad I don't dabble with that stuff anymore, but to continue, um, I just played with one um, prior to that. And I believe I almost got possessed because I did shake uncontrollably. And the next day I was horribly sore. Um, I think I've kind of shared this on my YouTube channel before, maybe not in this kind of detail. Like, I kind of forgot. I think she woke me up in the middle of the night that night, which I'm glad she did. Um, because I didn't really truly know what I was messing with. And at the same time, I was looking into becoming a witch, um, essentially. And I wasn't doing it for any malicious intent that I thought of, but it doesn't matter what intent you have when you're opening those doors. So that's also something that we need to be aware of. Um, but it's like people, but uh, the only other reason I think I, would, you know, may have been close to being possessed is because I had opened so many other doors, doors spiritually, and I was so spiritually curious um and i've you know repented for my bloodlines um you know their prior things in the new age as well i just are demonic you know things but yeah and i repented even past that and i'm trying to draw closer to the lord every day um as it is um right now in this present day Praise the Lord. Um, but yeah, that was some spooky times. I actually feel really bad. And I don't know if anyone will come across this that I used to dabble in those things with. But some of them, I would beg them to play with me. And I feel really bad because... And I want to apologize and say, I am sorry. And that's not the way, the truth in the life. That's not what you should follow. That Jesus is the only way to heaven and I'm sorry that I ever wanted you guys to play with me and that I, even though I was being deceived I'm still sorry I I just wanted to share that because I don't know I didn't really feel comfortable sleeping in my bed that next day either I, even though I thought everything was safe, I actually just wanted to sleep out in the living room because I felt like people needed to watch over me because of what I had just done. So it may be in some part of me knew it was scary enough that I felt like I didn't want to sleep in my own bed because I was tired. And like I said, everything was sore because my body was shaking uncontrollably from the day prior from me playing with the demonic board. Um, 
but yeah that is what I am sharing today I just kind of can't believe the things I used to do but I mean some of the things I do now is bad too but not I don't do that stuff intently anymore sometimes I need to give up still that I'm fighting to give up with Jesus in Jesus name um but I thought I'd share that the dangers of that and people really do get possessed sometimes I think maybe part of the reason I didn't is because people were praying for me that I didn't know were praying for me and I think my mom knew that I was dabbling in that stuff well they did actually because I was in a very dark time which or yeah which gives me no excuse I was going through a lot of stuff um personally and just in general um a lot of bullying a lot of just stuff around me but I wanted to share that to warn you um of the dangers of it especially as it's becoming more popular and yeah I want to end this video with a prayer and then I'm gonna hop off Lord Jesus, I pray that you be my mouthpiece and you guard me as I pray this and guard my day. Cover us in your precious blood. If you would take a minute to pray with me, close your eyes and just be in God's presence. Lord Jesus, I want to thank you first of all for delivering me and helping me through everything and helping viewers watch this to know whether or not they've been through similar or whether or not they're struggling to find you or whatever they're going through, that you can help them through it all and that they can come to you with anything and that you genuinely want a relationship with us. And I pray that they encounter you in such a mighty way, Lord Jesus, and that we can all do what we're supposed to do for your kingdom before we come back and that we can give up bad habits and bad things for us in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Lord, and all these things I pray in your very precious name, Lord Jesus. Amen. All right, I love you guys, but more importantly, Jesus loves you more. Peace out, and I'll see you in the next video.